So today we'll take a look at the Pen 3D and the Crossfade 3D modules from Venom. Both modules allow us to fade between signals and destinations, similar to sequential switches but with a different approach. I added also the ideas from this video to the PDF of VCV tips and tricks I keep on updating. It's available on my Patreon together with the patch files from this video and lots of other exclusive content. And we will start with the pen 3D. We have here one input, again similar to a sequential switch, in this case the 1 to 4, and multiple outputs, but unlike the switch that allows us to switch between the outputs, with pen 3D we can fade between them using X, Y, and Z coordinates. Let me just show you this quickly. Right, you can see we have here the shape of a cube. Right, um, for now the X is set all the way to the left, the Y all the way down, and the Z all the way to the front. So we get this output here, the red one. If I take the Y all the way to the top, right, it will fade to the green output. If I take this back down and then the Z to the back, we will have this output here, right, the blue one. If I go now again to the top and then to the right, Right, we went to the top and then to the right we have here the yellow output. So like this we can fade between the outputs. Something fun you can try is really replicate the sound of a sound in a cube, for example. I have here a random sequence with a VCO unit. It's already going to the pen 3D. And now we will have different variations of the sound. So for example, for the lower outputs, we will use a low pass filter, right? So they will sound like they are really um, down in the position, right? So if now I take the Y all the way down and the Z all the way to the front, we listen to these outputs, right? Maybe close the filter a bit. And again, I can fade between the left and the right here. Right, so now it sounds really like it's coming from the bottom. And then the upper outputs or front outputs will be brighter and will sound like they are up. If you are with headphones, it's uh, quite a nice effect. Right, so now when I cross fade to the top, they are brighter. Right, or darker. And now for the back outputs, we can use reverb to make them sound like they are further away. So for the lower one, we will need again a filter. Let me just, you know what, just duplicate this one. Right, so for the lower one, we need again a filter. Right, and then we need also a, a reverb. Right, and then we need again a reverb. So we have one and two. This will go here to these outputs amount all the way up. Right, so now if I go to the back, let me take the Y all the way down. So now we listen to these outputs. Uh, right. And now I go all the way to the back. And they have reverb on them. Right, so it sounds like they are further away. And then for the top again, we need just reverb without a filter. Right, so now when I cross fade up, it's brighter but still sounds further away. Right, so we have a sort of the, an effect like the sound is really inside the cube. And now we can modulate the X, Y, and Z. I have here some random modulation. Right, so now you can imagine the sound moving inside this cube. When it's in the back, it's more with a reverb. When it's up, it's brighter. Again, if you are with headphones, it's quite a nice effect. Of course, if you have um, eight or four speakers, you can use this, the Pen 3D, also to pen through the speakers. But this works quite nicely also for sending voices through different processing. Right, I have here another random sequence with another VCO unit. And I have four outputs here of the pen 3D going through different processing. So I will connect this here to the input. Right, the first one is a phaser going through a reverb. This is this output here, the lower left. Right, then the, we have here 
a modulated delay as a sort of a weird chorus effect. Right, then we have, if I go again left and then go up, we have here echo with pitch shifting. Right, and if I crossfade to the right here, we have a Prince of Perception as a sort of a glitch delay. Right, and again we can crossfade between them. I will use an LFO here or two LFOs for the X and the Y. Right, and now it will crossfade between the phaser, delay, echo, and Prince of Perception. Now you can see I'm not using the Z outputs. Right, so when I crossfade to them, basically we have silence. So I can use this to bring this in and out. Right, and again I will use modulation. I will use here the LFO that I'm using as the clock. Right, I have here also a bass drone. So again, a VCO unit going through pan 3D. In this case, I'm using different filters. So we have a low pass, a band pass, a notch, and a high pass with modulation. Right, cross fading between them, just as a bass drone. Crossfade 3D is similar to Pen 3D, just that in this case we have multiple inputs and one output. Again, similar to a sequential switch, the 4 to 1, for example, we have multiple inputs and one output. But again, also here, we can crossfade between the inputs using X, Y, and Z coordinates. So here I have a sequence with probe key, and it's sequencing four different voices. So I have here once the VCO unit. This will go to one input of the crossfade 3D. Then I have the FM operator. This will go to another input. I can crossfade to it. Right, then we have kick all. Again, another input. Then we have the FM2. Right, so we have the four voices. Right, and again we can crossfade between them and modulate the crossfading. So in this case, again, just the X and the Y. I'm not using the Z um, inputs. Right, add some delay to this. Right, and of course we can also do this with totally different voices and sequences. So here I have four totally different voices. I have here a five-step sequence with a VCO unit, a drone with a VCO lab, I have here percussion with Elastica, and some glitch with a Chronoblob 2. Right now I'm sending them already to the eight inputs of Crossfade 3D. Right, if I unmute this I can show you. Right, so this is for example one voice. Then we have Elastica as the percussion. Right, some glitch. The sequence. Right, so we have here the different voices just going to the inputs of Crossfade 3D. But here, instead of directly using LFOs to modulate the X, Y, and Z, I will use a different module, another a new module from Venom, the Sphere to XYZ. Right, it will convert, for example, the LFOs to XYZ coordinates. You can see on the left here, these are the LFOs. Right, the three LFOs, this is how it looks like. And on the right, we have the same LFOs, but after the Sphere to XYZ, you can see it converts them to different coordinates, and you can use this also to modulate the crossfade uh, 3D with X, Y, and Z. Right, so now we have movement.
And another helpful feature of Crossfade 3D is that it can take a polyphonic signal and spread it through the inputs. So here I have Harmony 2 from Screentronics, it generates a 6 note chord. So I have here two VCO units, opalach, two VCO units that are playing um, six channels of polyphony as you can see here. Right, we have six voices through a polyphonic cable. This cable is going to the polyphonic input, this the left down input on Crossfade 3D. And now automatically it's spread to the first six channels because again we have six channels of polyphony. Right, so no need to split things and no need to connect multiple cables. Just send the polyphonic cable to the first out, uh, input and it will spread it. Right, and I can show you this also. Let me solo this. Right, so here we have on the left here we have one note. Then I can crossfade to a different note. Again, we have six different notes. Another one. Right? And again, like this, we can crossfade between the notes of the chord. In this case, I'm using Frolic. You can see also the, on the scope here, the shape it gives us. We have again X, Y, and Z. Of course, we can use both modules with modulation sources, not just for audio. Here I have an LFO, it's going to the pen 3D, and from there, from the outputs, it's modulating three VCO units, right, the shape, the phase. It's modulating the panning, right, you can see I have here one output, this one here, modulating the panning, and also the FM or the frequency of the LFO. Right, so we can use this also with modulation sources. I will add some delay to this. This will also work with a crossfade 3D. Right, in this case, I'm using different sequences. I have here uh, different sequences with the sec three, four step sequences, and two random sequences. Right, you can see they are all going to the crossfade 3D. And then depending on the position, of the modulation here, we will get a different combination of the sequences. Right, in this case, instead of using smooth modulation or LFOs to modulate the X, Y, and Z, I'm using stepped random voltage. Right, so it will jump between the different coordinates. This just needs a nice bass here that I have with the classic VCO. And something that's always fun to try is audio rate modulation. In the case of the 3D modules, this works really well. Here I have a sequence with slips and the VCO unit, right? This will be the original signal here. Right, again, I can crossfade between left and right. Right, but I can also modulate the X here at audio rates with another VCO unit. I have here also the, um, these outputs here, the upper X outputs, I will bring them in. And I will use another VCO unit to modulate the Y. Right, 
right? So now we have two modulations, and you can see again also here, I'm not using the Z output, so if I modulate the Z at audio rates, we will also modulate between silence and these outputs. Right, so I will use another oscillator here. Right, so we get interesting timbres like this. And of course, this will also work with the Crossfade 3D. Um, in this case, I'm using it with drums. I'm using the 4MS uh, drum modules. They are going to the inputs of the Crossfade 3D. And again, also here, I modulate the X, Y, and Z at uh, audio rates. And we get all sorts of different timbres, depending on the frequencies here and the shape. really create all sorts of textures. I have here also a bass drone. One VCO lab is um, um, sending audio and one VCO lab is sending audio rate modulation, right, as a bass drone. Right, so you can really get textures and timbres just like this. But that was it for today. I hope you will go and explore these modules. Um, thank you for watching. Cheers.